Hello, and Riley Photos here. Welcome to the channel. Now, what I've got here is my new lens. It's a Nikon 40mm f2. I'm really excited to go out and give this a go. And the first thing I did with this when I got it, of course, was I put a UV filter on it. I mean, why wouldn't I put a UV filter on? Hey, I want to protect the glass, don't I? I want to make sure that I don't damage it. But there's a lot of people actually online having this debate. And in fact, I was out with a fellow pro, Ed Bagnall, the other day, who said, oh, no, 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 what are you doing? I never, ever put UV filters on my lenses. You know, what's the point? He said he was watching uh, Jared Portland's channel. Fantastic channel on all things, you know, camera related, very technical, really, really good stuff. I'm sure you've all checked it out. But he was saying, why, why, why would you um, spend all that money on, on a lens and then put a cheap piece of glass? You know, over the end, it doesn't make any sense. I don't agree with that. And I'll tell you why. This piece of glass is wafer thin. Tiny little thin piece of glass. And yet you can pay 50, 60, 70 quid for one of these. What? Well, hang on a minute. If you think about it, you can buy a Nikon lens, like my 24 to 200, and that might have eight elements, nine elements, 10 elements in it. And it might cost you, let's, let's, say, let's say it's gonna cost you five, 600 quid. 600 quid for a lens. And it's got, let's say, six elements in it. That's a hundred pounds an element. But hang on a minute. You've also got the electronics that goes into that. You've also got the casing. You've also got, uh, you know, the chip. You've also got the motor that's running in. So there's an awful lot more that you're paying for in that lens than just the glass. And each one of those pieces of glass has got to be ground to perfection, hasn't it? Because it's all doing a job of focusing the light exactly on to the, uh, onto the chip. This, on the other hand, is nothing. It's wafer thin. It doesn't have to focus anything. It doesn't have to, um, you know, have any particular concave or convex shape to it. It's just a flat piece of glass. This has got to be so much easier to make, hasn't it, than any of the elements inside the lens. So hang on, if we're paying 50 or 60 quid for this wafer thin piece of glass. Surely the technology that's gone into this must be more than the technology that goes into the elements in here. This isn't a cheap piece of glass at all. It's blooming expensive if you think about it. What does it do? Well, it's called a UV filter because it's supposed to cut down a little bit of UV haze, but that's not why people put these on. Let's be honest. We put it on to protect our investment because you know we've all stumbled on a job and fallen and the camera's gone down. In fact, I did a video the other day where a friend Paul was telling me about how he fell down an embankment, wrecked the UV filter, but the lens was fine. You can self-insure. You can choose to, to take the risk yourself and not put the filter on, but then you've got thumb marks. You're gonna be cleaning the actual glass. Whereas you get a thumb, thumb mark on, on, on here, uh, or rain, you know, we've all got raindrops and, uh, you know, and stuff when we've been out and about. Or when you're putting it in your bag and you haven't remembered to put the lens cap on and you think, oh, now I hope that didn't get scratched on the side of the Velcro on the side of the bag. Actually, when there's a UV filter on, you haven't got any of those worries. The worst thing that can happen is you can wreck the UV filter. So the big question, the huge question posed by um, Ed and, 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 and those other people on YouTube, and it's a big debate on YouTube, does it actually make any difference to your pictures? Does having a UV filter make any difference to the pictures? Do you think if I showed you some images with and without the UV filter, but didn't tell you which was which, do you think you'd know? Well, let's put that to the test. I've done exactly that. I've shot the same pictures with and without a UV filter. Here they are. How do you get on? So we start off with a picture of a pen on the desktop and they look exactly the same. <laughs> I can't tell any difference at all, can you? 
I think we're going to have to. Um, I think we have to blow this up a little bit and uh, pixel peep. I'm, I'm just looking at that kind of the the leather even to see if I can the edges. I can't tell. Can you? UV on one, not a UV on the other. No, we're going to have to pixel peep. Right? Let's uh, let's zoom in now. There we go. We're at like um, 300% there, and I still can't tell. Can you? Ooh, I'm going to have to zoom in a bit more, I think. Right, all the way. What are we now? Like a um, 1,000%, 10 times. I think the top one's a bit sharper. Just about a little bit sharper. And that's the one without the UV filter. The one without the UV is above. The one with the UV filter is below. Not a lot of difference. Colour temperature's about the same. Mm. Let's move outside. Ah, now we're going on to... Um, that's interesting now can you tell which one's got the uv on it is in actual fact the one on the right hmm. and let's have a look when we blow it up and as you can see we're focused on those water droplets and the uh, the one with the uv filter hasn't done a particularly good job of keeping everything sharp has it it seems to have affected the um i know it's it's not meant to but it seems to have affected the focus i mean the middle uh, of the flower is sharp on the one and not on the other let's have a look at a different flower we've got two pictures here now and look at the top one the top one's more color saturated look at the petals this is the same camera same setting same exposure the one on the top has got more color it's more saturated it looks a little bit sharper uh, and um, definitely definitely better image and the one on the top is the one without the filter the one below the flatter picture that's the one with the uv filter outside let's have a look now blue sky the the image below is bluer uh, and the images above is uh slightly warmer and i'd expect that because the one above uh let's have a look has got the um the uv filter on so it's taking some of that ultraviolet light out it's stopping it being quite so blue it's effectively warming the picture up Sharpness isn't a great deal between. I think it is slightly sharper um, without the filter. Now, this is interesting. Look at these two. Chalk and cheese, the one on the right is so much better. The one on the left is washed out. Uh, the one on the right is color rich. It's sharper. And that's the one without the filter. So look on the, there we go. Look, I've put the filter in the frame just on the left so that you can see it's the one without the filter. Uh, that's interesting that is way better sharper a better image without the filter let's move on to another image okay we've got this seed pond here with a water droplet on the bottom they are both incredibly sharp on that water droplet the one on top is the one with the filter and it's flatter look can you see it's just a flatter image uh, it's a little bit more punch underneath but they're both sharp um, okay a stylus here and uh, on the old uh, on the old record player uh, the one below is the one without the filter look and it's sharper. It's just crystal clear There's definite difference in the sharpness there. No two ways about it uh, So let's have a look at a pair of uh, glasses. I can't see much there. Can you uh, in actual fact? Uh, let's just see. Okay. Yeah, the one at the top you can see that me holding the filter to the left the one on the top hasn't got the filter not a lot between them is it sharper maybe arguably a little tiny bit but hardly anything uh let's have a look we've got some uh tomatoes or tomatoes depending on where you live there's one picture there's the other i can't tell any difference in that one you know it's funny isn't it you can tell on some and not others here's a rose hip now that's washed out and that's the one with the filter on uh, it, it seems to have an effect on the contrast as much as, as as anything oh look at yours truly there in his younger days <laughs> can you tell the difference there i can't tell a lot in that can you uh let's have a look at that one and that, um, not much in it i'm gonna have to really pixel people that's a thousand percent oh yeah you can see there look that's definitely sharper there and that's the one without uh, the uh, filter on the left. The one on, on the right is the one with the filter, slightly warmer as you'd expect because it's taking the UV out, but it's definitely sharper on the left. Wow, wow, that shocked me. I can't believe the results putting one of these on. Do you know what? I spent 40 years plus as a professional press photographer and people have always told me 
that these make absolutely no difference to the picture. You gotta have one, you gotta protect your lens. But uh, in fact, so much so, I pre-recorded the end to this video. Let me play you what was gonna be the end. Well, I think that's conclusive proof that putting a UV filter on makes absolutely no difference to the image quality at all. And I couldn't tell a jot. I couldn't tell one from the other, absolutely no difference at all. Well, how wrong I was, because we've just seen the results and it's marginal, absolutely marginal. It's minuscule. I think a lot of people wouldn't tell, but when we did a bit of pixel peeping, when we blew them up, one of these UV filter, it does make a difference to the sharpness. The pictures are slightly uh, bluer, slightly warmer, obviously, this is taking a little bit of the UV out, so it's warming the picture up. But actually the big thing, the huge thing, is it actually does make a little bit of difference. Ed, Ed, you were right. Jared Palin is right. It's true. They do make a difference, a marginal difference. So I suppose really it's for you to decide. Is your lens so expensive that you don't want to risk a tiny little difference in the appearance of the sharpness? Or is sharpness absolutely everything? Have you bought the most expensive sharpest lens that you can so you don't want to give any sharpness away? It's down to you. Only you can decide whether you put one of these on or not. You've seen the pictures, you've seen the results, you decide. Now, when it comes to filters, polarizers, do you ever use polarizers? You know, make the sky really deep blue or take the reflections off water when you're doing landscapes. Uh, really useful filter. But recently, I came to think, actually, what's going on here? Because online, I can buy a polarizer for like um, 12 quid, but I can also buy a polarizer for 100 quid. So I chose a, uh, a relatively expensive one, I think it was about 70 quid, and I pitted it with the same pictures against that cheap 12 quid one. Surely there was going to be a difference, right? Well, if you want to have a look at that, and I think you should, have a look at this film here. 